What's going on guys? So today at Apple's keynote event, in addition to introducing the brand new iPhone 5, Apple also introduced some new updates to their iPod line of products, including a brand new iPod Touch and completely redesigned iPod Nano. So in this video, I'll go over all of the changes, updates, and new features of these new iPods, as well as the release dates and pricing. So first things first, the iPod Touch now has the beautiful new 4-inch 1136 by 640 resolution retina display with 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The new iPod Touch is just 6.1 millimeters thin, and uh, instead of the tapered chrome backing, uh, just like all of the previous iPod Touches had, this time it has a flat aluminum panel on the back, similar to the new iPhone 5. It weighs just 88 grams or 3.1 ounces, uh, which is down from the 101 grams or 3.5 ounces of the previous model. The front facing camera has been improved and now supports uh, 720p and facial recognition for up to 10 people at a time. On the back, the new iPod Touch includes a 5 megapixel camera with a LED flash and supports 1080p video. As far as performance goes, the new iPod Touch has the dual core A5 processor, which is less powerful than the new iPad's a5X and uh, the iPhone 5's A6 chips, but uh, it's still lightning fast. Another interesting piece of hardware change, um, the new iPod Touch also has this little loop on the back uh, so you can attach basically a wrist strap to it so you don't drop it. Um, but by far the biggest and most prominent change to the new iPod Touch is the fact that it comes in five different colors. So no longer just black and white, they have silver, green, blue, and red as well. The new iPod Touch will be $299 for the 32 gigabyte and $399 for the 64 gigabyte. Pre-orders for it will start this Friday, September 14th, uh, but unfortunately an official release date has yet to have been announced. Apple has said that they will be out sometime this October though. The other new uh, iPod that got a major redesign was once again the iPod Nano, and uh, the Nano gets a new 2.5 inch multi-touch display with a small home button on the bottom, and it essentially looks like a tiny colorful aluminum iPhone with a white front uh, with colored aluminum surrounding every other inch of the device. It's incredibly small, it's just 5.4 millimeters thick. It does not run iOS 6, but does have a similar interface. Um, I assume it's going to feel just like iOS 6 does. Uh, maybe be a simpler dumbed down version of it. It has a built-in pedometer and Bluetooth technology as well as radio streaming. It supports movies, pictures, and videos, and most importantly, it does come in seven different colors. The new iPod Nano will be available for pre-order this Friday, September 14th as well. And uh, once again, Apple has not set an official release date, but uh, has said that they will be available sometime this October. So there you go, that is all the information about the updates to the iPod lineup. Definitely let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you're interested in getting them or like it or don't like it, the updates or are interested even at all. Uh, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up button. If you did, also hit that subscribe button for future Apple videos and I'll see you later.